Hey guys, this is Captain Hatch, and this is, um, Portal 2. So, today, well, this video today, a new DLC came out, and it includes a map editor for Portal 2, which is totally awesome. Now, you might be wondering, how is this a map editor? This is some 2D, 3D box of a Portal 2 test chamber. Well, this is your map editor, and it is a 2D, 3D box where you can add stuff and make your own cool custom maps and put them onto Steam Workshop. So today, I'm going to get you familiar, familiarized with the basics of it. So you might be wondering, well, there's no menus, how do I do stuff? Well, you see, if you put your mouse over to the top, you see this top bar, and you get your basic simple menus like file, where you can create a new chamber, open, save, and all that stuff. And then you can, you got undo, redo, select all in your edit, and then your help is if you don't know how to do this, but if you're watching the video, you should. And then here you have build and play, so once you want to test your chamber, test your test chamber, testception, if you want to test your chamber, then you press build and play and you'll go into first person normal portal mode and you can screw around with it. And you have your undo and redo here and then you switch to game view which is just shortcut tab and you look around in your game view in the test chamber. But this does not, it does not change when you make a change. You have to rebuild the map by pressing play and build and play chamber. So, tab to switch back out. Now, on the right, you have your camera controls. So, this is pan. This is zoom. Or you can use your scroll wheel. You can uh, click your right click to pan. Um, and then your middle click to rotate, or at the bottom here. Now, on your left, you have your items menu. So, I can take weighted cube, put it here, it'll drop from the ceiling, I can, let's take um, a button, and put it here, a faith plate, put it there, and then make it land on the button, no, and change the art. Now if I wanted to look at this, puzzle and it's gonna build it for me so we can play it like the actual game so here it is oh man this is so cool this is what we just made I have my stairs parkour I have my weighted cube I have my faith plate and I have my button this is marvelous, but what if we want more? There's not enough ch test chamber in here, is there? No. So let's go back to edit mode. And you're doing how do I how do I enlarge my chest test chamber? Everybody needs something enlarged, whether it be test chambers or other test chambers. So, to make your test chamber bigger, what you want to do is you highlight a wall that you want to be pushed out, and then you wait for your little double arrow, and you just drag it to whatever size you want it to be. And just drag it that far. And then you're like, well, what's the use of that if I don't have something at the end? So picked up our placed items and I'm gonna move it the edge of it to the very end and then move the entrance over here and maybe move the and the weighted cube over here and the stairs here. Now you're like, well the button doesn't do anything. Well if I right click my button I can 
it to something, I can change the button type, so I can be weighted cube or sphere. I can delete it. I can make it portable. Oh, this is for the surface. I can make it portable, I can push or pull, or you can just do what I said. So I'm going to connect it to here. So a little heart shows up when it's in good connection. And then let's build and play puzzle. So it's going to rebuild the chamber so we can play it how we want to. Whoa, this looks different. Oh hey, we have a longer hallway. This is still the same. There's a companion cube, but when I... Whoa. We just did that. We wired our button to the cube shooter router. And now we can make companion cubes. We get 360 off the stairs. That's an unportable surface. Port 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 yeah, portable surface. So, if I go back to our yes, ed editor, I was like, hmm, that's a that's a non-portable surface. I want to make that portable. So I can highlight the top, right click, and make it portable. Portal. Portable. There we go. Portable. This, then I just highlight it all. Right click and press port porter portal bubble. Yeah. And if I if we rebuild our chamber. There we go. Now we have a portable port portalable ceiling. Basic map making 101 with Captain Hacks with the Portal 2 DLC. Um, thanks for watching, and there should be some more Portal 2 stuff coming soon involving the map editor. See you guys later.